Needle felted dog's head. Let's find out how we made this. Hi, it's Pam Duthie and it's a Thursday so it must be another needle felting tutorial. Every Thursday I make videos just like this so if this is something you're interested in don't forget to come back every Thursday. I want to introduce you to a special someone. This is a mini Tycho. Tycho's a special little dog. He actually belongs to my friend Cassandra Hall who I'll link her YouTube channel in the cards up above. Now Cassandra just took up needle felting at the beginning of this year and she has been doing awesome and we decided to do a little collaboration where I worked on a project for her and she had a go at doing it and she's just finished making her Tycho so I can get to release the video of how I made my Tycho for her. Now if you stay till the end I'll link up a playlist of her creating all her steps to her first project of making her little dog's head but first of all if you want to have a go at trying this project he's ever such a cute little chap um, I think anyone would be proud to to make a little guy like him and I think Cassandra did awesome for her first project there's some really fiddly bits and it's great to see as she went along how she was developing and learning more about the process of needle felting and well done Cassandra went from using her little leather finger guards to now she's felting bare fingered and she didn't hurt herself so great job there Cassandra now when I made this project initially I was trying to think of ways to make it using the equipment she had in the beginning in our first beginner's kit which was just really tops which in the cards I'll explain why I'm not the biggest fan of that and how you can turn tops into roving um, but while we were talking she decided to go and get herself some much better carded bats and that made her project so much easier so you'll see how I gave her ideas of how to do this but she's gone on and developed her own method which is so awesome and it's how we should all needle felt so let's get down and have a look at how I made Tycho so the very first thing is to make a ball out of black fleece. I have tutorials for making a ball which will be in this playlist. Uh, nice and simple, just this is going to be the head of the dog and I'm making it in black because Tycho's predominantly got a black head but it depends what fibres you've got. Now for his snout I'm using the reddish colour um, and as it's a tops, so I'm fluffing it out to make it more like bats to make it easier to felt and turning it into a tube as in my needle felting a tube tutorial and then felting this onto the head in a muzzle type shape. Again, I have a tutorial for how to create a closed muzzled dog. So just felt until that's nice and securely felted. And then Tycho has a strip of black down his the top of his nose. So just putting some loose fibres over the top of his nose in about trying to cover the areas that that are black on him and he has what Cassandra calls a little soul patch a little white patch over his chin so again adding that after a good deal of felting this has got nice and firm take the time it needs to get it firm and now we're going to work on the ears and I'll just use the pad the foam pad for safety I take two large sections of the brown fleece and I'm just tracing out the shape of the ears they'll end up slightly smaller than this as they compact you just felt down lines to get a line to fold it and then fold it over into your nice triangle shape for the ears. Just gonna felt that, and remember it sticks to the surface, so you want to lift it and move it every few minutes. And you can use the first ear to trace the shape for the second ear. So again, just folding that over and then starting to felt. You don't want the ears too thick. Um, Tycho himself, as you'll see towards the end, has quite large ears. So I'm making these larger than you would for perhaps a different breed of dog. And then you're just going to go over this felting, lifting and turning. And then, to be honest, I prefer felting between my fingers. This gives a nice straight edge for the edges of the ear, as you can see just holding it gently between my fingers and squeezing a little and felting just running the needle between my fingers you very careful not to hit your fingers but at the same time I'm holding the needle lightly and loosely so if I do hit skin then it doesn't actually hurt too much most of the time okay so a couple of small pieces of black are going to make the back of his ears because a black and tan dog tends to have two colors the black on the outside and then the tan on the inside and the secret when attaching this black triangle to the brown is to not felt all the way through you can see how my needles are a very 
very much flat along the surface rather than felting into the surface and then just attaching the ears where you feel they need to go so I'm just felting in the top corner and then twisting the ear around a bit and felting it into the to the side of the head as well and you can move the ears and pull them up or down and just hold them in position and then felt 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 all around the front and the back to get them nice and firm felting down the ear into the head until basically you can't see the join at all and the ears are fully felted in so trying for some eyes i've got these are the glass eyes i got off of amazon just rooting about in the box trying to find a couple of ear a couple of eyes that are the same size as each other and then many of the kits have a kind of tool i think it's an owl or something all don't know how to pronounce that um where you can stab holes in but I just repeatedly stab in the same place with my needle and then when the needle's fully in give it a wee wiggle to make a wee tunnel to pop the eyes in at this stage I would usually glue them in just pull them out stick a dot of glue on the bottom and stick them back in but as this is just a demonstration piece I obviously decided not to glue the eyes in yet um, and Tycho has some more black underneath his eyes so I'm just working on the shading a little more with a little wisp of black underneath the eyes because until I put the eyes in I didn't know how far how far up I needed the brown to go so just felting that in to give some definition around his eyes you can leave wispy bits where there's any shading needed to be and that just gives a blend of the colors or if you keep a, fine, a firmer line then that makes it more of a straight transition and now to add more expression to Tycho when he's looking up you can see a little of the white of his eyes I'm taking little bits of white rolling them into a ball and then back and white back and forth through my fingers to get a, a kind of to get this kind of shape and I'm doing a few so I can pick the ones that are most similar sized and then felting them in an arc beneath his eyes and this just gives a wee glint of white under his eyes makes him looking up makes him look like he's looking up with that cute expression black and tan dogs usually have gorgeous eyebrows so I'm making a bigger piece in the tan and just doing the rolling backwards and forwards like under the eyes but just um, making it a looser piece and then pulling out a point towards the to, towards the middle so it's slightly more pointed and then thickening up and just felting it in place where it looks like it is on Tycho roughly I love the tan and black and tan dogs I love the eyebrows they're so expressive Tycho also has a little white strip on his head so we're adding that in as well and we're so nearly done with him I'm just rolling a ball of black for his nose and felting that relatively firmly before I pop it onto his nose so you can actually see the difference of it we want that to have a nice crisp edge really so you can see it's a nose and not just more fiber and then for the lip just drafting out a small piece of fiber twisting it to make basically a thread and then felting it on to make his little cute smiley face and just felt until it's totally firm and you're happy with it move the ears and everything but here is Tycho and the Tycho I was working on from the picture on my phone. Are you a good boy? You are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you make your own little Tycho, please don't forget to share a picture with me. You can come along and join the group Pam's Felting Friends and this is where we all share our work and it's great fun to see what everyone's made. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget, click on my wee face to subscribe, come back every Thursday and click on the playlist to see all Cassandra's felting. Thank you so much.